Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this time I actually pushed the record button, so that's a good start. <laughs> Got through all the rules, was about to start the puzzle, and realized I wasn't recording. Brain fog going on there. Speaking of fog, we've got a fog of war puzzle here. We haven't done one in about a week, I guess it is, or probably somewhere around that time frame. Anyway, it's called Spells in the Fog by Carmen Lambert. We've done a bunch of Carmen Lambert uh, puzzles before. They're usually not too difficult and fun. So that's the point of today. It's a Monday recording, so the brain is usually a little slow to start. So we'll start there. Let's jump into the rules of this guy and see what's going on. So note the Dutch whisper lines are purple. Now, I know some people are going to be annoyed by that, <laughs> but I'm sure it has to do with um, the color palette um, working for a uh, for what this, the look of this thing is going to be. So try not to get too upset that they're not orange. Uh, the cell with the yellow circle must be odd. Okay, apparently there's going to be a yellow circle here. Let's dive into the rules. Normal Sudoku, so every row, column, and 3x3 three three box will contain the digits 1 through 9 once each. Digits along a purple Dutch line must have a difference of at least four. So let's say there was a Dutch line up here and it was purple. These two digits would have to at least be four away from each other. The cell with the yellow circle must be odd. We said that already. Somewhere there's going to be a yellow circle. It will be odd. Jason digits along a green German whisper line must have a difference of at least five. So that's a normal German whisper color. So let's say there was a German whisper like this. These two would be at least five away from each other because they are adjacent on the line. Then it looks like we've got crop keys. So a black dot indicates cell values with two to one ratio. That'd be these two, or one of them will be double the other. So those two, those two that we currently see. A white dot between cells indicates cells with consecutive values. So we've got a bunch of those in here. So these two will be consecutive, these two, these two, et cetera, et cetera. And there's no negative constraint. So not all dots are shown. Now, an X between two cells mean they add up to 10. So it looks like we have the X portion of X V rules. So if there was an X between these two, they would add to 10. And then of course the board is covered in fog. Place a digit correctly and the fog will lift around it. So this looks like it's standard fog. So if we were to figure out this digit, all of the fog in here would dissipate and we would have more clues to work with. That's that. So nothing crazy, just a slight color change on one line. Um, most likely for the theme. So uh, with that said, links in the description below. Let's get at this thing. Yes, I just had to again check to make sure I was recording. Let's get started on this thing. All right, let's start thinking about what's going on here. Because we can make reductions, I think, in here. Because we have so many uh, crop keys here. Like none of these can be ones because of the multitude of twos you'd have to place everywhere. Now... These two can't be eights or sixes because they have to be consecutive. Eight and six are not consecutive with anything else. One of these two will be a three, which means you're not. And I guess it means that, yeah, this one can't be a three either. Uh, what else can we then say? What about, we got to be able to reduce these a little further, right? This can't be a two. Yeah, because if it was a 2, these would be a 1, 3 pair. This would be a 4. What would this be? Nothing. And it can't be 8 because we can't get back over to here because these 3 have to be in some consecutive order. So 8, 7, 6, no go. Okay, that means this can't be a 4 anymore. Now, can we go any further? Can this ever actually be a four? It'd have to have a three, five pair. No, we can't. Because this would be four, these would be three, five, this would be two, this would be broken. This is six. So this is three. You're not. You can't be six. Um, I guess you could be other things, but let's look here. These have to be five and seven. This can't ever be a seven, because how would you connect back? That's five, that's four, you're seven. That four then says this is either two or eight. This three has to either be two or four, so therefore this is a German whisper. This is low, this has to be high. Eight, two. This has to be a five, it's the only possibility. This could be three or, f I mean, not three or four, four or six, 
can't be six because of the Dutch whisper. These have to at least be four apart, so they are a four. That four on a German whisper says you're nine, you're one. You could be seven or nine. You could be two or three. I don't think that's telling us much. What about you? You have to be low, so one or three. You have to be high, seven or eight. Yeah, it's not telling us too much, is it? Okay, uh, what then can we start thinking about? Do we have any? Th one of these will be a one. Fives. And one of those will be a five, because we know the German whisper goes in here. You can't put a five on a German whisper. Mm, can we make some determinations about high and low on some of these guys? These are going to be the same in terms of high-low capacity. And then so will these two. So if these were low, this would have to be a Two. This would have to be a three. We couldn't put four in either of those positions. This would be an eight nine pair. I think all that would work. Seems like it. Okay. Um, that doesn't necessarily. What about you? Do you have some restriction to you? You're not going to be four. Eh, it could be two or three, and then you could be eight or nine. So no, not really. Okay. We got to find a way to get into the rest of this. What are these digits? Again, we know one of these is a one. Two sevens. No, there's not a whole lot there. None of you are f oh fours maybe. You can't okay. So by Sudoku, none of those could be. Can't put a four here because both nines. Can't put a four here because both nines. So one of these two is a four. What about the sixes? None of those can be sixes. This can't be six. You can't be six. You can't be six. These can't be sixes because you can't put ones to replace. This is a four six pair. Okay. Now. What use was that? So it feels like we're going to be able to get into this guy. What are these digits? Maybe we just need to go down this line. Two, three, seven, eight, and nine. You're not sevens. There's going to be some reductions here we can do. I just got to find the right place for it. Uh, no, you could be any of those. Three could work, two could work, eights and nines could all work. That, well, that did a whole lot of nothing. Okay, um, one of these will be a six, one of these will be a four. Again, how helpful is that? I don't quite know. We need two highs and two lows. I guess that means that these are always a two, three in the low, so this can't be. Okay, so this has to be a seven. There we go. No, it, one of these two has to be a seven. I didn't see this guy. And either one could actually be. And they are opposing in terms of their polarity. So if that's a seven, that's a two. If that's a seven, that's a two. I guess one of these two has to be a two then, so you're not. You can pop the two down there. Hmm. Um, not as helpful as I hoped it would be. What else can we then... S oh, this is high. That is helpful then. This is low. This is high. So this has to be the two. This has to be our... Seven. This has to be our three. Not that tough when you just go through the options there. <laughs> uh, let's start thinking about you guys, because um, you are one, three, and four. So this is low. Well, we know that already. 
this is high, this has to be low, 4, 6, that's going to push 9, 9. Uh, you could still be a lot of things. Oh, we got a witch, that's what this is. So the witch's hat, and this looks like it's a cauldron here. Cool, like the theme. Uh, what else do we have? Mm, this has to be a low, but I don't think we can say too much about it. Well, actually the fact that that is a low is, is quite helpful. Right? Because does that mean this has to be a five? Because we're starting at a high. We have to go to some digit that then forces us down to a low. Well, the only way to do that would be the intermediary of a five. And then this would have to be a one. Okay. Now, you have to be a high because we can't use the five. <clears throat> Six, seven, or eight. You have to be... Well, it could be low or a five, so I'm not going to dive too much into that one. You have to be high, and you can't be a six. Uh, no, you could be a six. We don't know if this ends <coughs> here or not. Ah, I'm talking too much this morning already. Uh, what else can we say? This is a five-seven pair. We'll do our Sudoku, which means these are... Uh, two, six, and eight. You can't be a two. What are you then? Nine. You guys are, might as well just put these in, one, two, and eight. You're not eight. Okay. So, what is next on our list? We can go down here. Right? This has to be a one. You have to go back up high. Can't be six, because we know the germ whisper continues. Can't be seven or nine. It is eight, which means you are seven, which means you are two, one. Good. That forces this to be two. You're not. Okay. And let's keep going down this, uh, the witch's uh, dress or cloak or whatever the heck it's going to be. This has to be a three. It's the only thing left over. This has to be an eight because it can't be a nine. You have to be a two because you can't be one or three or four. You have to be seven or nine. You could be either. Actually, you can't be seven because we know the germ whisker continues. This would have to be a one. Can't be. You're nine. Which means you're seven. This is a three. It's the only thing left in the row, which means you are the eight. You are not three or four, you are one. Good. Now we've got our witch out here brewing her uh, magic in her cauldron. These must be the bubbles coming off the cauldron. Like it. Uh, these are not eights. Good. Now, we've got some infill we can probably do. What are these three? We'll see if we can find anything. Five, six, seven. You are not five. You are not seven. Oh, let's go up here first. There's less options. We have to put a five in one of them. It goes here. Then this has to be a six. Okay, the nine says eight, nine. We can do that. Then we can start looking up here. We have to do three, four. Well, we, well, we know this is going to go down to a low. So let's start from that point. Previously said we could be a five, but now the five is gone. So this is either three or four, period. There has to be a seven in one of these two, because it can't go down here. There's a four up here somewhere, because it can't go down here. What are these two actually? Let's just do those. This is six and five. So these will be three, four, and seven. Okay. Which means these guys are one, two, and eight. You're not eight, or you're not one. That's what I meant to say. Brain work. What about you? You've got some reductions here. Can't be one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven is possible. Can't be seven, eight, or eight, nine. So it's six, seven. Which means these two are a given three, nine. Which means this is the three. This is the nine. There's our orb. This must be the moon, I guess what I'm going to go with. It is odd, we said, so it's 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Can't be 3, 5, 7, or 9. It's 1. 
You're not one. You are one. You are two and eight. You're not eight. Do these guys correlate back? Not necessarily, but you will become the eight and the one. Good. All right. Where's the next best place to go? I think we're just into Sudoku now. Yes, we can place a one to finish those off. One of those will be a two. One of those, no, nothing there just yet. Threes, not quite. I don't think we, yeah, none of these guys are telling us anything either. Fours, no. One of these is going to give us something. Okay, one of these is a five. I think that might give us something up here because none of these can be fives now. Yeah, that's a five. And one of, oh, this one right here is a five. So that means this is six, seven, five. Good. Now we can put the four and the six. That's going to give us the two and the six and the three and the four. Five, seven is not quite determined. This is not quite determined. What are you two? Wait, typo. What were you guys? This was not a six. This was a five. That was just the typo. We needed the four and the nine. So this is nine, four. Let's put you in. I think you're four as well. Yeah, it looks like. Which means you're not. Four, seven. Okay, what are you guys? Two, three, and eight. I don't think we can finalize those, but we'll put them in. What are you, though? Well, we can now, because this is a two, which means this is a two. Two, three, four, the f oh no. The six, seven here means this is a three, four left over. Can't be a four, three, four. Okay, uh, the six, there we go. Seven, six, three, seven, eight, three. And we should just be able to finish these guys. Seven, five, seven. Uh, these two have to be from four and six. So this is the four, this is the six, this is the eight, this is the nine. There we go. Yeah, you completed the puzzle. If you got here via Logic Masters, click on the back arrow, see the picture without numbers, that's fine. Uh, for more fig uh, fog puzzles, go here. Cool. If you want to go do that, go ahead. Uh, about a thousand solves in nine days. Of course, they're always uh, approachable but fun puzzles. Uh, the witch is doing her thing. I'm assuming this was part of the, well, not necessarily part, but a, um, a, a Halloween type uh, puzzle that was set. We've, we're going to have a few of them still coming up, even though it's past that holiday now, but it is what it is. So anyway, again, fun puzzle. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.